Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we have this Toyota 4Runner with a B1181, something to do with the clock spring, as you can see there. We get the code right here. Here's the code B squib 2 circuit open. Circuit is open, that means most likely the clock spring is bad. I'm showing you guys how to do it. I have it halfway apart already, but uh, I'll basically show you guys right here. So first you need to remove some screws in order to split this case open. First thing you do is you see those two screws right there, one on the bottom. And the way you get to those is you turn the wheel and you'll see it will make space. Like it'll make space and you turn the wheel the other way and there'll be space to remove the screw on that side. In case you're wondering how to reach these screws because these are kind of behind the steering wheel. Then you remove this cover right here just with a little flathead cover comes off there's a t30 in there same thing on this side there's a little cover right here for the cruise control remove the cover it's just a little plastic little cover that's it nothing crazy there's also a t30 in there as you can see right there so what we're doing now is we're taking off the airbag because we have to remove it in order to get to the clock spring well, there we go, loosen it up. And this airbag right here should come off. So just like that, I loosen up these two bolts, one on this side, one on this side right there. They're both T30 stars. Just comes off like this. Make sure to disconnect your battery before you do any of this. Disconnect it because we are messing with the airbag. Now to take those off, you need like a skinny, you need like a skinny flathead or like a little pick to pry this up. Sort of like that. Same thing with this one. Like that. And like that. Now it should just come off like that. Oops. To remove it like so there we go then we can put this airbag somewhere safe right right there put it somewhere safe where it doesn't blow up all right and just like that it came off uh just a bit of wiggling it was not stuck on there too much um it shouldn't be so hard to take it off then we're left with the clock spring. But before you do this, make sure the steering wheel is straight. You can see mine is pretty much straight. Oop, I kind of messed that up. But um, yeah, so we're gonna put, we're gonna remove it by taking off these little screws right here. Screw, screw, and screw. And this thing should just pop right out and we should be good to go. All right, so the clock spring is off. This thing is pretty much garbage now. There was two connectors left right here. So now to put back on, it's pretty much the same thing. Just make sure not to remove this orange thing until it's fully seated on and you're about to put on the steering wheel. Um, but this thing is straight from China. We just gotta swap over, what does it look like? One connector and that's about it. Um, but then we'll put it on here. All right, we made sure to connect everything here. And then these cables right here all have to be fed through this hole right there. That's the only way they should go. All of them should go through here. I guess one at a time, but you guys get the point. Just like so. And then as we go to put it on, we have to remove that orange clip. Um, you're not supposed to remove it until you're about to put this on. So I was noticing, I guess you could put it on and what you want to do is cut off. I'll show you guys in the old one actually. See how in the old one, the orange piece is still in there because they chop it off. So when, as you're putting the steering wheel in, you wanna go in here with some pliers, just chop it. That way, whenever you um, put it in, it'll be aligned and it won't move because it uses basically this thing right here uh, to really align it. You can see this block right here goes through and it'll align it. So if that's aligned, everything else is gonna be aligned. So just do that. And the rest, you just put the airbag in like usual, connect the connectors in the back of the airbag right there. Put the T30s back in. 
and then just put the covers back on a uh, pretty easy job and sure enough once i put everything back together no more airbag light we scan for codes no more airbag codes so we're good to go um like i said for all the trims back on so I just gotta attach everything on but that's pretty much it. it took about 30 minutes not too hard of a job uh this you get from like ebay for like 20 bucks uh overall easy fix